What is the level of your love commitment with Christ? What is the level of love commitment in your life? Where does God rank? Imagine there's God and imagine that there's you. And that you're going to have a relationship with the Lord. But you're going to do it when you want to do it and how you want to do it. You want to be connected with God. You want God to be connected with you. And you understand that that's God's plan. But instead, you're not going to submit. You're going to just be connected. And so we'll use this example. You're just going to kind of paperclip it together. Oh, yeah, I know the Lord. The uh, Lord and I have this relationship together. So we're going to paperclip that thing, and we're going to, we're going to share a commitment. No. What you have is convenience. When I want to do it, we'll do it. It's the opposite of commitment. It's convenient. And I'm telling you, folks, love and a relationship with God will never work like that. That convenience relationship with God is not what he's asking of us. Then we have people who've kind of tried to step it up some. And they want to be a, a member. And they want to make commitments of some kind. Many people try to staple themselves to religious ordinances and practices and things where they're trying to do certain things. So they've contracted themselves. Now it's a, a love of contract. And I'm going to commit myself. I'm going to staple some things in, man. We're going to have a, we're going to have a, a contractual love, and we're going to seal this thing with a contract. We're going to staple some things down. And people try it. We want to be in subject to Christ in the things that we agree. It's a contract. You know what a contract is? A contract says, if you'll do your part, then I'll do my part. However, if you don't do your part, then I'm out of my responsibility to do my part. Right? Lord, I said this prayer, so you got to do what you said you're going to do. <laughs> right? Lord, I did all this, and now you got to do this. Where we try to make these contracts with God and we try to staple ourselves and we try to staple God in to, to what this is. The thing about it is when you, when you come apart in this, then you end up doing damage. You ever seen somebody who was at a, in a contract with God and loved God and, and they, they put themselves into really being committed, they thought, with God and then they weren't anymore and then you can see the damage in their life? What does God want from you and I? A friend of mine, what God is looking for from you and I is this covenant relationship. This covenant relationship, which, again, the word is to be glued together. Proskaleo, to be bound together, where you can't really tell where one stops and the other ends. This oneness of love where it says, Lord, your life is my life. I'm coming to you and, and I want to grow in you and with you to the kind of love where we are the same and the two shall be one. This is the kind of relationships that we're trying to mirror in this world. Where the Bible says, weep for those that weep, rejoice with those that rejoice. Let the love that we have be this love of oneness. Can I ask you this? Do you love him? I'm not asking you how you feel about him. I'm asking you, have you come together in covenant oneness with him? Do you love him? Are you going to love him tomorrow? 